prenatal and perinatal education. Well, it, it uh, pertains to a period of life when you are either in the womb of your mother or somewhere around there. Around there, what does that mean? Either you are there in a stage where you are within the folds of your mother's womb or it includes a stage which is just after that, which is called the perinatal period and a stage preceding that, which is the preconception period. Now, why are we talking about this particular period? This particular period called prenatal, perinatal period forms the most important period of any human being's life. Really? How does it happen? The truth is that imagine anything about yourself or uh, your past. Where do your first memories lie? Where do you think you started your journey from in terms of the active world? What do you remember? In simple words, if you begin to trace your stories, you'll recognize that the first of your stories which you can recall consciously will be what happened probably at the age of four, five or something later on. Does it mean you didn't exist before that? Of course I did exist. I was there, I was alive, I was there as a baby, I grew up with my parents, I grew up with my, fam my family, relatives, friends, but I don't remember a single thing about that period. Why don't I remember anything about that period? What happened at that period, in that period? That becomes a critical thing for us to look at. This is where a defining period comes about in the course of a human life. And what's so defining about it? It's because in the period which is called as the golden period, you are in a human state, but you're not a human being. You're not a human being. What am I? You're actually a superior person compared to normal human beings. How are you superior? You are superior because you are empowered with certain faculties and you live with those faculties. 24 bar 7, every instant of your life. And what is that? That is called the golden period of life when you function completely with your subconscious self. What subconscious? It looks like uh, Greek and Latin again. No, it's not. It's a fact of science today. We recognize that every human being has multiple dimensions of life and existence. We can very easily identify each other with our bodies. You have a hand, you have a face, you have a name, you have a structure, height, weight, all included. That's part of you. There's another part of me which is my emotions, my feelings, my engagements with others which creates uh, interactions causing emotions and feelings. That's another part of me. There's a third component of me which tells me I can reason, I can think, I have a conscious memory, I have a lot of other things. So I have a mind as well, mind and mind faculties with thoughts. But beyond that, there is something called the subconscious, which is now recognized as the driving force of what happens in your body, mind and emotions. All of these are facts of science today. And science has progressed a long way over the last few centuries and come to a pinnacle in the course of the last four or five decades where the entire contours of science have taken a very different kind of a definition. Subconscious becomes the formative and the causative part of what happens in the body, mind and emotions. And the subconscious is formed, mark my words, is formed in the period called the golden period. And this golden period comprises of nine months, 270 to 80 days of pregnancy, two years from the date of birth approximately, which is about 700 odd days, and a few months even before physical conception. Combine the three and you get what is called as the golden period. And in that period, your entire focus is on constructing your subconscious which makes the rest of you work in the course of life. 
and what happens in the rest of the course of life, whatever happens in terms of intelligence, immunity, health, memory, tendencies, behavior, your proclivity for what disease you're going to get at what point of time, what kind of jobs you will take, every one of them is getting defined in this particular period. And this period is such an important period because whatever is going to happen in the rest of life is getting coded, is being put into formulae of operations. And how is this entity, be it in the baby form or in a prenatal form or even as an egg and a sperm, how are these entities creating this awareness and how are they fusing it together? That mechanism is very deep and very intense. But the people who are participating in that process, along with that child, invariably are the parents. And there's a very deep genetic, physical, epigenetic and beyond connect between the baby and the parents. And therefore, in the process of formation of the subconscious, every aspect of what the child is going to be is being either conveyed through the mother or the father or they are actually causing the imprints to be made into the child. So there is a genetic aspect and there is an epigenetic aspect which is called imprints of life. The blueprint of life comes from genetics, the imprints come from epigenetics. How impressions get made onto the genetic patterns which are there. All this put together gives the foundational basis of life. So the golden period is that which works to create the subconscious patterning which in turn will create every other experience of life. So what are the areas you can work on? Physical aspects of the child, of a human being, emotional aspects, intellectual aspects, creative aspects, uh, spiritual aspects. Every aspect of a child can be covered by working with that child, with that entity in that period.